hello everyone and welcome to this session in this class we are going to learn the entire concept of shear force and bending moment diagram this is basically a first year engineering mechanics course topic where we are going to talk about what is shear force what is bending moment and how to draw a shear force and bending moment diagram for different types of beam for example if i am having a cantilever beam and a point load is acting on the cantilever beam what will be the shape of shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram so sequentially we will start with the shear force and bending moment diagram of a cantilever beam with a single point load then slowly slowly we will build our concept by adding the number of loads then we will add a uniformly distributed load that means in addition to a point load we will also consider a uniformly distributed load and we will learn how to make the shear force and the bending moment diagram after understanding this basic concept we will move towards the simply supported beam and for the simply supported beam again we will talk if we are having a single point load or we will have multiple points load how the shear force and bending moment diagram will calculate and how we will draw these two types of diagram and finally we will learn that in case of a simply supported beam if i will have a uniformly distributed load and in addition to a uniformly distributed load if i will have a point load how my shear force and bending moment diagram will look like in this session particularly i am going to talk about a cantilever and a simply supported beam but after then we will also talk about overhang the beam it is a single side overhanged or we will also have double side overhanged beam and particularly in case of overhanged beam we will see the concept of the sign changing of a bending moment or the point of contra flexure all those things will be covered in the later half of this entire uh, session or i would say the number of sessions so let's start with the shear force and bending moment diagram of a simple cantilever beam i will start with basic concept in addition to that we will also talk about the physical significance of shear force and bending moment but first let's talk about the shear force what is a shear force shear force is nothing but the additional external force acting on a beam and trying to produce a shearing effect for example if i am having a load here there is a possibility that because of this load the beam can shear from here or here or any of a section of the beam can exhibit a shearing effect and what is the shearing effect shearing effect means the beam may have a shearing uh, failure at this point that means this section will show a shear let this is a this is b and this is c so because of this loading there is a possibility that the b at from point b the section bc and section ab will have a shearing kind of effect and how it is happening and why it is happening there may be a possibility that at this section the beam will have weak uh, connectivity and because of that it will break but ultimately we are not looking the breaking point we are trying to see that at different section what will be the value of this shear force i believe that this small understanding of the shear force is sufficient at this time the focus should be how to find the shear force as well as how to make the shear force diagram so in case of a cantilever beam and i am applying a downward load let the magnitude of load is 100 newton and the length of the beam is 2 meter this is point a and this is point b and you are interested to point the shear force at point b shear force at any section let's consider a section at a distance x and this x will be valid for the entire distance from a to b so i will be interested to find the shear force uh at section x as well as the shear force at section a in addition to that we will also understand that what is the actually reaction at the support end and why it is required i believe that this part you have already covered when you have studied the uh, free body diagram of a rigid beam or rigid body 
but again i will talk about how to calculate the reaction in case of a cantilever beam suppose a load of 100 newton is acting and this is a fixed end if i will make the free body diagram of this beam this would be the free body diagram lads and here the external load of 10 newton is acting now what would be the action because of the support support will do a force that is of 100 newton in addition to this force because of this uh, support there will be a couple and the sense of couple will be counterclockwise and if the length of the beam is let's 5 meter this couple will have value of 10 newton that is into 5 newton meter i am not going in detail how to calculate the reaction if you are interested you can watch my previous videos here i am trying to focus primarily on the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram and why i am calculating reaction here i let me tell you when you will calculate the shear force when you will reach at point a this reaction will validate your result i will explain you slowly slowly i don't want to give you too much uh, uh, food for thought in the beginning we will slowly slowly move first we will take very simple problem and we will understand how to make the shear force diagram and then we will go in greater physics of the shear force so this is my problem and i am interested to find the shear force so shear force at b will be what the shear force at b will at b should give the value of the load so i can understand here that at point b my loading is 10 newton so i will say that the shear force at point b will be 10 newton now when you will see different book you will find sometime it will be plus 10 or minus 10 this is nothing but the sign convention in some of the book you will find that the downward load will create a negative shear force and upward load will give you the positive shear force so in our case also our sign convention will look like that if i am having an uh, upward force i am going to make a positive shear force if the load is downward my shear force will be negative so at point b the shear force will have a value of minus 10 because the load is in downward direction now if i will start moving towards the point a directly i will not be able to see any force at any of these points it doesn't mean that the shear force at this point will be zero please understand the shear force at point is actually governed by the load already you have covered that means if a load of 10 newton is here when you will reach to a next point you are going to consider that the load at this point will again be the 10 that means in a simple way i can understand that if someone is walking from point b towards point a and he is going to collect the load that will come in between for example if a case is there that there is a 10 newton and then somewhere you will get a 20 newton load so when you will start moving from point this point you will say that the load is 10 10 10 10 10 suddenly when you will reach at this point you will say now 20 is added so the load will be 30 30 30 30 30 like that i am just telling you the philosophy so that you will have a basic concept so to make the uh, shear force diagram so here in my case the value of shear force at point b will be 10 and any section which is at a distance x again the shear force will remain minus 10 this is actually valid when you will reach to point a so at point a again your shear force will be minus 10 but here here you can check the you can validate whatever you have so far calculated and how you can calculate if you have understanding that what would be the reaction here the reaction at this point will be 10 in the upward direction so when you will reach at a suddenly you will see that a 10 newton is also acting in the upward direction so when the previous minus 10 and this 10 will come together the total value will become zero so this is how we can first see the mathematical part of the shear force but actually in your syllabus you have to make the shear force diagram if you will not show this type of calculation you will only make the diagram then also your question will be considered correct but i will recommend that you should also write the expression for the shear force at different position so i am going to consider this beam and let this is my point where upward side is showing the positive shear force and this downward is showing the negative shear force and this length is actually representing the length of the beam so when i am at point b the shear force is minus 10 so suddenly i will go in the downward direction and roughly i am giving this length as the minus 10 
when i will start moving towards point a the shear force will remain only minus 10 minus 10 so it is going to be a straight line here when you will reach here suddenly you will find that another 10 newton load is acting here but the direction of the 10 newton is upward that means at point a you are again going to add a plus 10 value so ultimately it will be a zero so you are going to close the shear force diagram this is the basic concept but you should learn, understand that whenever you will reach to the end the shear force will by default zero so even though you are not able to calculate or you are not interested to calculate the reaction doesn't matter you have to make the closed diagram so this is ultimately the shear force diagram of the given beam i hope that now you are having a basic understanding when i will solve the next problem it will become a concrete a cantilever beam but here i am going to add let's three forces this is let's 100 newton 40 newton and 80 newton and i am interested to make the shear force diagram this is my point a b c and d again i am going to start from the left side here also I am going to mention that in some of the book you will find that you will start making the shear force diagram from this end. But what I follow, I follow the right end and then I start moving from right to left and my convention says that if I will have upward load my shear force will be considered positive. If I will have downward load my shear force will be negative. So here the shear force at point D then the shear force at point C shear force at point b and shear force at point a i am also interested to get the shear force in between the cd in between to cb as well as in between to ba but this is a simple problem so no need to give special expression for this what you need to do you have to simply give the value of the shear force for four different positions that you have defined by a b c d so let's try to make the shear force diagram and try to find the magnitude of the shear force. So this is my line. At point D, the value of shear force will be what? Minus 100 because I can simply identify that this my node is acting in the downward direction. Very good. When I will start moving from D to C, till I will reach point C, there is no other additional load. That means for every point, I will say, the shear force will be 100 100 100 100 100 that means initially i will make 100 newton and this is not scaled you have to simply make a line and then you have to define that this is 100 then from here to here it will remain 100 but suddenly when you will reach to at point c the shear force will become minus 100 minus 40 because you are having another downward load that is acting in the downward direction so ultimately the total value will be shear force of minus 140 so you are going to move downward with an amount additional amount of 40 so ultimately the total value of shear force with respect to this line will be 140 and then similarly you will move from this point to further and you will say 140 140 140 when you will reach to point b till point b it will be 140 but suddenly you will find that there is an 80 newton load but the load is acting in the upward direction so what you will do you will make this line and this is going to give you the value of 80 so ultimately what is the absolute value earlier it was minus 140 then you have added value 80 so your final value will be what 60 but again it is in negative direction so this is your 60 from point b there is no additional load so here to here the value will remain the minus 60 and when you will reach here you can close this diagram or if i will calculate the reaction you can check the reaction is going to be the total sum of the load so ultimately i am having 140 and the 80 60 newton the 60 newton load is acting in the downward direction so the reaction will be the opposite of this load so reaction will be what a 60 newton load in the upward direction so in the question it will not be asked that to tell the value of the reaction but it is for your understanding for your verification that you can consider the reaction that will give you the value it was 60 here and when you will reach here the reaction is 60 that means at the end whatever shear force will you you are having that should match with the reaction i hope with this second example you will be able to get the concept that how to make the shear force diagram when you are having a cantilever beam and you are having the multiple loading now i am moving towards the bending moment 
but for this let's first try to make another problem and that i am going to give you the brief detail i will request you you practice and cross check that whether you are getting the same answer or not in my next session we will talk about the bending moment diagram of these three problem so let's talk about the third problem and i will request you to first try to practice this problem let this is your cantilever beam and you are having one two three and four load and this is one meter then two meter then three meter and again three meter so the entire length of the beam is uh, seven eight nine nine meter value of this is 100 newton value of this is 200 newton 80 newton and this value let's take the 20 newton. so my first question is what would be the reaction and i am going to tell you the answer but you have to practice you have to cross check whether you are getting the same answer or not so my reaction will be what 280 minus 120 that means my reaction will be 160 upward or downward direction the reaction will be in the downward direction so the downward reaction cross check then the shear force value so i believe that you will be able to make the shear force but let me tell you quickly the what would be the shape of the shear force the shear force diagram will look like it will be start with a minus 20 then you will come here then you will see plus 80 so you will reach here when you will come here again it is 200 so uh, let me slightly put it in the downward okay i'm going to make another so when you will reach here again you will go to 200 you when you will come here it will be minus 100 and somewhere you are going to end your shear force diagram so this will be the final shape of the shear force diagram where this is the negative part and this is the positive part so i hope that you have now basic understanding how to make a shear force diagram particularly when we are having a cantilever beam with the point load single point load or multiple point load soon i will come with my next video where we are going to talk about the bending moment diagram thank you